Everybody and welcome back to Sammy Snakes. Today we're going to be talking about why box turtles are not good beginner pets. So box turtles are generally classified in pet stores as good beginner pets for children and beginner reptile keepers. The fact of the matter is though this simply is not true by any means. While box turtles can be easier than the typical aquatic turtle because you don't have to keep up with a big aquarium and a filtration system and knowledge of water parameters, they still can be a lot of hard work. First off, box turtles do not like being handled as much as other pets do. And for a beginner reptile lover or even a child that wants a turtle, you're probably gonna wanna hold and handle your pet a lot, but box turtles don't typically enjoy handling and would much rather be left alone on, on the ground or in, their, or in their enclosure where they feel safe and secure. Another reason my box turtles don't make beginner pets is because they need a diet that contains fresh vegetables and fresh fruit. There is a big belief out there that turtles, that aquatic turtles and box turtles can live off a strictly turtle pellet diet. This simply is not true. Box turtles need fresh vegetables and fresh fruits, as well as calcium supplements embedded into their diet for them to thrive and grow properly. While pellets can be a great dietary supplement for turtles, that should not be the only thing that's their diet. And if that is their only diet, you will most likely encounter a lot of issues with them growing very slowly, barely growing at all, and just having nutritional deficiencies. So my third reason why box turtles are not great beginner pets is because they are a lot of work. As I mentioned earlier, they need fresh fruits and vegetables. If you're like me and you like buying stuff whole because it's cheaper than buying stuff pre-chopped, you have to spend a while chopping stuff up to just get food that's enough to last them a week. And that can be difficult and very time consuming. Also, just because they're in a, a tank that includes the land and water, it doesn't mean their tank is less difficult to clean than a fully aquatic tank. While you don't have to deal with fully changing out a water system, changing out substrate fully and still cleaning the section of their tank that does contain water is still overall a difficult task. And you have to do it, at least in my opinion, at least every three weeks. I personally like cleaning enclosures every two weeks. Due to this, they can be very difficult for someone who is new to animal keeping to keep up with and for a child to clean responsibly. My fourth reason why box turtles don't make good pets is fairly simple. They're stinky. Their poops are gross, big, and don't smell nice, and tend to stay soft for a while. So you, so even if you don't clean them right away, it's still kind of difficult to pick up because they tend to stay squishy a lot longer than other animal poops. Also, they tend to like to poop in their water, which means if you have a large water bowl in there for them, you're going to have to disinfect it and fully change up the water before putting it back in their enclosure after they poop. Or if you have an enclosure that's half water and half land, you're gonna have to take all that poop out, change out the water, and again, disinfect the areas where the fecal matter was. So it can be a very difficult and time consuming task, which goes along with them being a lot of work. I think overall turtles are one of the most neglected reptiles that are kept 
because there's just a big misconception that they're easy beginner pets. Whether it's a box turtle or an aquatic turtle, they are definitely not for beginners and they can pose many interesting challenges, such as them having long nails that you typically need to trim at least once a year. Um, and also some turtles will bite and just because they're not a snapping turtle, it doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. It still hurts quite a bit. So overall, I think box turtles pose unique challenges as a reptile and a pet in general, because you can't just feed them some type of kibble like dogs and cats. You can't just feed them whole prey items that you just have to thaw out like a snake. You have to chop and prepare their food and make sure it has the right vitamins on it and make sure they're supplemented properly. And they also poop more often than a lot of other reptiles such as snakes. So because of this, they are just a lot smellier, a lot ickier, and are a lot more, and you need to clean up after them a lot more just in general. So that's all for today. I'm sorry this video is a bit shorter, but I've tried to keep it concise and short. It's also kind of late, so I want to go to bed soon. So we're trying to film this as quickly as possible. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Banksy and Butterscotch content. I upload every Tuesday and every Saturday. If you'd like to see more daily content, follow me on Instagram at SaltySam6045. This is also my regular personal Instagram account as well, so not every post is animal related. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.